Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm doing a little bit of a walking tour of Campo Nuevo today. So show you guys a little bit of what town looks like and different places, different things that are around. This morning when I came into town, I literally counted how many speed bumps there were up to the point where I was turning off the road coming into town and it was 12 speed bumps within two kilometers. My husband has joked in the past that, you know, maybe we should just double the amount and then it'd be pretty much flat again. Just kind of an exaggeration of, but there's a lot of speed bumps and a lot of them you actually have to learn how to drive over. Otherwise you're going to scrape up and whatnot. And yeah, so Kamenuevi is a town that is actually only about the very oldest, 76, 75 years. Back when the Mennonites first came to this area, then there was only a large ranch here, which then obviously with the Mennonites coming here and starting to settle, and as they started growing their own colonies, then this place, this area started being an attraction as an opportunity for the Hispanics. So since then, all of this has come here. I heard a number last time saying that there's about 50,000 people that live in the town limit, which I actually measured off on the map is about two and a half by five kilometers which is absolutely crazy but there's so many people stepped into such a small area the thing that i first noticed when we moved here is there's a lot of like houses and residential areas like it's all kind of mingled in the older parts of town especially and i'm so surprised how many gas bars and pharmacies are all over the place and actually i heard the other day that the town has now said no more gas bars at least for the time being i guess until it grows a certain amount but yeah, and also little boutiques. There are so many, or quite a few, clothing boutiques, which is like, I don't know how they make enough, but to survive and to keep up, but uh, yeah. So things like that. And there's one shoe store that I have found that actually carries like name brand shoes. And then like you saw in my last video, shoes and clothing is available in just about any store, supermarket but I have found one other one. But other than that, like shopping centers, they aren't around here, but there are plenty of shopping centers and more like specific clothing stores in Asuncion. There isn't much of that other than little boutiques in this area. Along in this little stretch here, there is, um, there's a clothing store here, a pharmacy there, a ice cream shop there, and a salon, and then another clothing store right over here and yeah there's just things available all over the place there is something in just about every block i would almost have to say when it comes to certain stores this would be the identification office for this town they do sedula and such i don't know if they do too much other than that but as you can see probably just about everyone rides or a lot of people ride motorcycles sometimes it seems like there's almost more more motorcycles than cars but there are actually lots of cars around the streets are not exactly made as you would probably guess by the amount of people in such a small area the streets are not exactly made for a bunch of full-size vehicles so it gets a little cramped in some areas but and helmets they are more of a request than a law it seems or that's how people take it because it's very it's a lot more rare to see people with helmets than without and as far as public spaces goes i wouldn't say that this town has too terribly much available for that play structures things like that is not common here and if they are they i think i've seen like one or two that are very run down um they don't get maintained really but they do have quite a few um kind of like rec centers or whatever outdoor soccer fields tennis field courts things like that there's one in almost every neighborhood so that is a good thing, including a new one right across the street from our house, which makes it really loud Saturdays. That's when they like to play. And also right now I'm walking through an area that is, it's kind of like a hmm, farmer's market vendor, except they also have a bunch of other things other than produce and such. A lot of them also carry, if not all of them, things like flip flop, yerba, a little bit of basic groceries and such. And check it out guys. I don't know how well you can tell, but there's a buggy and a horse. And there's this one guy that always rides around in town with his buggy 
and horse. And then this large building here, I actually just looked it up yesterday, kind of what it was. It is like a large indoor rec center, event center owned by the municipal. Um, they have four courts, I guess you call it, inside according to their pictures. And looks like they are holding some events as well sometimes. And right there you can see there is one of the kind of hardware yard supply shop around. And then there is another pharmacy. And guys, I've only walked one block since the last pharmacy. That was also Pharma Maxi. But there's another one here. Also, something I've noticed is quite a few houses here, especially a little bit older ones, they have like what they call a salon built up front, right up against the road pretty much, where a lot of people will have like little shops out of and such. And right there you can see that is not even an entire block away. There is another little yard supply hardware shop type thing. There has some has a little bit of an eatery and then you go on to a bunch of produce different things i'm not sure how this place works exactly you probably have to register in some sort of way with the town in order to set up here but i haven't ever noticed like vendors really move or anything so i guess it's designated areas for certain people probably register for a certain amount of time i'm not sure right behind me here that guy over there he is mushing some sort of um herbs together for Tereré. I'm guessing that some of them might be mate, some is tereré. Mate is like the hot version of tereré. Tereré is the cold version. Um, and that whole stand was just selling things like that. Thermoses, yerbas, different options for the teas and such. But you'll see quite a few of those all throughout town as well. And then I hear here, which is just like 100 meters down, corner there's another one. So all of that was just within one block and then i'm passing by another fruit little grocery area right here so that gives you an idea of what is all in one tiny little area and then around that is even more like little shop um houses that have like a salon thing they call it but like a storefront up front some of them sell like fruit salads vegetables things like that it is so busy you'll have like a pretty nice house in the midst of all of that and as you saw there they do have garbage pickup um in town you get garbage pickup and at our house as well we have to pay for it and then there's a guy who comes around with his little cantone motorcycle that has like a box on the back of it and he'll pick up the whole neighborhood's garbage and here's another beauty and makeup salon and then there's a sports clothing shop, which a lot of times I don't even pay attention to what's all around because there's just way too much to see it all while driving by. And I've never taken the time before to actually properly go through and see what is all over the place. And then on this corner is an ice cream dessert shop. And then here's the municipal office. And this is where you go in our area to get driver's license and such and you guys wires wires all over the place um they make me kind of nervous especially the first while it made me kind of nervous to see them everywhere in a lot of spots they're jumbled together just the clear evidence that there are just no regulations and wherever they are may not necessarily be enforced also on the other side of the highway there are it's about 100 to 200 meters i would say until you get to the colony which is colony Sommerfeld, where i grew up partially and you see the difference right away it's also where it is located i was asked recently um, about hospitals in the area there's a couple of government hospitals and then there is also lucy vita which is a not-for-profit and they have really really good service we have always had a really good experience there and i'm not going to give prescriptions from what I've found, the doctors I've seen, they're not going to give prescriptions for nothing and whatnot, but also they will help when help is needed. Um, a lot more reasonable, I would have to say, and not a whole lot long waiting lists and whatnot. Usually you can get in within a couple of days, if not the same day, which is really nice for a change. And there's also a Sharaskoria, which I remember as a kid, just a real quick story here, when my parents were living here, we would occasionally now, we grew up pretty poor compared to most other people in the colony, but occasionally my parents would treat us. There was a guy who would roast 
chickens in like kind of like a side beside the building kind of was like an alleyway and it was such good chicken but now that i'm an adult and i'm back here i would have to add that said chicken wasn't roasted with i mean i guess you would be able to taste it if you were paying attention or whatnot but i don't know what kind of wood they used to roast it um whether or not it was completely clean or if it had been stained in the past, painted in the past, whatnot. I don't know. Now it's just kind of cringy to me, but at the time it was really good. I would have to say this is one of the kind of better kept areas of town compared to a lot. There are still several areas that are a lot more run down, a lot more like the houses they look unlivable in and there's people that live there obviously some people cannot afford better but yeah i'm impressed with how well kept quite a few areas of this town actually are and i absolutely love all of the big trees that they have in town um as you can see the road is pretty much lined up ahead you see a whole lot of greenery um here is as you can see here, you have a lot less of like an entire big area of nicer houses and then all of a sudden a more rundown part of town. I mean, there are, like I said, a few spots that are more rundown, but like here you can see there is one house that looks quite a bit newer. I mean, also somewhat dated, but quite a bit newer. And then you see still a wooden house. And that is the contrast you can expect here. I have two more video ideas that are on my priority list. That is houses. I'm not going to tell you how to build a house here because I'm not a builder, obviously, but some things that we've learned just from living in the house that we live in, um, having lived in it through two winters now, what we've learned, what we would, how we would build different were we to build our own in the future. And then some things to consider around that and some rules and restrictions or lack thereof and education is another one that is also another topic that i've been asked about a number of times um i just do want to be able to make sure that i have very thorough details or as thorough as i can get from experience we have or from those around us um so i may need to get some help on that one just because education is a lot different here and it's ranging quite a bit more also any other ideas let me know and if you have any questions regarding those topics let me know so that i can know a little bit better what kind of information you guys are looking for so that i can hit more of those areas but thank you very much if you haven't already then subscribe like and comment helps me out so much